Hey guys, this video is going to be about the 30 round PS90 mags and how to convert them to a 50 round magazine. Now, our PS90s with the red dot that we currently have on sale for $15.89 only comes with a 30 round mag. That's the commercial version. You can buy 50 round magazines, but unfortunately they're currently unavailable and have been unavailable for about three months so far. So what I'm going to do today is for a customer that we sent the 30 round mag to. He would like a 50 round mag, and I'm gonna show him how to do that. Ashley, can you grab this for a second while I show? So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna look on the back. See that button there? You're going to press down this button, allow this plate to slide off, put your thumb here, take this guy out. This spring is gonna be locked inside there. Just pull it out, and you're gonna use this plate. Leave that just like it is. You can also use our Durlin rollers, which are here. And what I'm gonna do for this customer is I'm going to replace the factory rollers with the Durlin rollers for him as well, free of cost because of the inconvenience. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. So what you want to do, you need this top piece. So we're gonna cut everything else off. Do the Dremel. Always wear safety glasses so you don't mess your eyes up. The glass is gonna melt, it's okay. You do it fast like I did. Because you're going to take this, you're going to polish it back up. Okay, so we have that piece that we needed. It might look like that if you did it the way I did it, which is not advisable. Take your time and actually look at what you're doing. So you can shape it up here. Not as pretty, but you guys get the idea, okay? Now, you can also do one of two things. This spring has to sit on top of here, and it's fine if it just sits just like this, okay? And I'm just gonna get the car just a little bit more off there so it fits. Or you can also cut this bottom piece off, tape them both, glue them together, and then this piece will then fit back in with the spring. You're gonna pull this guy out here. I hate these 30 round mags. They always do the same thing. 30 round mags are very difficult to get this piece out. For some reason, there's something inside here that's actually holding these springs in and these rollers. So, you don't wanna to pull too hard, you don't wanna stretch the spring out, but this piece in here, this is your follower. And you gotta get it out somehow, you gotta push it down. Just give it a nice little tug, don't lose it. And I want you to see the difference between this and this. These are FN factory rollers. Let's see if we can zoom in on that with the light, so don't the light. Look at that, see the pits and grooves in these? These are not going to be very nice to load. Once you get 50 rounds, the last 50th round is gonna be very difficult to load because it's not smooth. Here, Durlin rollers are milled from one piece of long Durlin. Very smooth, slippery plastic. That's gonna allow you your magazines to function properly. Um, less misfeeds, less misfires if you ever experience those, especially if you're running a suppressor. So highly recommended. We sell them for $10 for a pair, or if you like them installed in the magazine for you, we do them for $50 installed into the magazine. So we are going to then knock those Durlin rollers out. There's no real magic to this. We just kinda put this on an angle and drop them in. There you go, we got one. Drop them in, we got two, hit it in, and now you should see it just like the regular PS90, 
has the rollers in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop this follower in. I want to do it like this. So see the angle here? That should go that way. And we're going to put this the way it was when it came out. This little notch goes in this hole. So somehow if you figure out how to do that. Stop for a second. Take this like this. Take a little push or punch and ba -dum. there you go. This is what it should look like guys. You're gonna make it always go this way like this. So it's gonna be surfing. If you push it in, it's gonna go underneath. I'm sorry. It's gonna go above because you want it to fit here. That's how it should be. You want it to touch the roller so your rollers don't fall out. And now your spring might be a little stressed out, that's okay. This is not correct. If you hear the rollers moving back and forth, like that, it needs to be touching these rollers, they need to be in the safe position. So what we did earlier was we pushed, it, we pushed this out. So what's causing this to stick in there? Let's take a look. Push it in one more time. Let's see it's sticking on the bottom. So what we'll do, and there goes the roller. We are going to widen this a little bit. Cut those grooves off on the side as well to make it smoother. Let's put our roller back in. Let's put this guy back in. And now you don't hear it anymore wiggling. You have your um, somewhat of a plate. It shouldn't look like this. You should take your time. You shouldn't burn it. Should look nice like a regular, like a regular plate. And if you have any any more areas to carve off, carve it off. Make it look nice. And we're gonna take this guy and put him on top so that button faces up. We're gonna push it into the mag, just like that. We're going to take our cover, we're going to slide it on, over, and there you go. So now you've just taken your 30 round PS90 magazine and converted it to a 50 rounder. You can discard this if you like and discard these Durlin rollers, or excuse me, factory rollers because they're no bueno. Um, you can visit www.fn57sale.com, pick yourself up. Uh, uh, some Duralyn rollers Pick yourself up some accessories. We have uh, pretty much the best accessories for the FN 57 the PS 90 and the scar available We are giving away an FNX 45 uh, Come June and then come the end of the year when we launch our just guns Firearms marketplace app. We will be giving away one of each gun that FN makes so we're gonna give away a scar 17 a scar 16 we're going to give away an FN57, an FNS9C, an FNX Tactical, an FNX Non-Tactical, maybe even one of these guys. Oh, you missed it. Well, we're definitely giving away a PS90, but we should have at least 10 winners or so. Let's see if we can get away with giving away one of these scars or saws, excuse me. That might be a possibility, depending on how many entries we have. 
and it's completely free guys so every dealer in the country is going to eventually use our system it's completely free you'll be able to use a your camera phone as an individual to scan in the UPC as you can see on all these boxes here you would scan the UPC of the box and the serial number of the gun it will automatically pull all of your data of that particular firearm enter it into your inventory and at any time if you like to sell a firearm privately you have to be verified